all you flight simmers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Interstate 5 Bush Trip by Perfect Flight. So today's flight, uh, we are traveling from uh, Reading Municipal to Williams, and this is leg two uh, within the part three of the Interstate 5 California. So uh, it's going to take us uh, probably about a half hour for the flight. And uh, the distance is uh, around 81 uh, nautical miles. So uh, I'll uh, catch back up with you once I am over into the cockpit and ready to take off. All right, I think I am about ready to take off. We're gonna be flying at uh, 2,200 foot uh, altitude today. And we are going to be going through the uh, Sacramento Valley it's all pretty darn flat through there, and I probably won't be saying too much. I'll just probably be pointing out where the pictures are, and uh, that's about it. Uh, it's going to be a flight that uh, I'll let you enjoy, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so I'm about ready to take off here. And we are facing north, so we're going to have to <clears throat> swing back around, and as we do, I believe she is going to... Uh, start coming up and talking about Cottonwood. So I'll have this down <clears throat> while we uh, take off here so you can kind of follow along with her. Actually, I'm going to actually minimize this because she will, that will come up on the screen so you can follow it along the screen. That way I can uh, see where I'm flying. All right, and as always, it's going to tell me that the joystick is, uh, the brake is on on the joystick, so... Let's get the run up going and let's take off here. And here we go. Try to stay on the center of the runway. Okay. Lift off. And Go ahead and start coming around. Actually, I'm going to minimize this. And should start talking here pretty quick. Cross the Sacramento River and pick up I-5 to Cottonwood. The town is situated at the foothills of the Cascade Range and is surrounded by beautiful natural scenery. It is also known for its annual rodeo, which draws visitors from all over the region. The nearby Sacramento River is a popular spot for boating and fishing, and the Lassen Volcanic National Park is just a short drive away. Okay, she just got done talking about Cottonwood. Uh, we are uh, coming up and getting on track up here. I can uh, pull that flap up. And I am going to hop out of the cabin and uh, let you guys enjoy the flight. And again, I'm going to uh, pretty much just uh, let her do the talking. Here is the first picture right in this area right here. Continue south and reach Red Bluff in Tahama. The city is situated along the Sacramento and hosts several annual events such as the Red Bluff Roundup, a popular rodeo that has been held since 1921, and the Red Bluff Art Association's Art Walk, which showcases local artists and their work. 
The city is home to St. Elizabeth Community Hospital, which is one of the largest employers in the area. I think this picture is right there. There's that building right there. There's that turnout. Continue straight to Orland in Glen County. It is situated in the northern region of the Sacramento Valley and is known for its agricultural production, particularly almonds and walnuts. The city has a population of around 8,000 people and is home to several parks and recreational areas such as the East Park Reservoir and Black Butte Lake. Orland hosts several annual events such as the Glen County Fair and the Almond Festival. I do know one thing that uh, the Sacramento Valley is, uh, is one of the uh, country's largest uh, producers or agricultural uh, production areas so uh, that's uh, what this has been kind of mainly focused on so back to the flight Coming up on the Orland picture, it is this area right here. You can see the big block of water. Here's the road going through it and the road along the edge. about 15 miles you are inside of Willows. It has a population of approximately 6,000 residents and is known for its charming small town atmosphere. 
The city is situated Glen County and is surrounded by beautiful natural scenery, including the Sacramento River and the Mendocino National Forest. The city is also home to several parks and recreational facilities, including Willows Memorial Park and the Willows Community Center. This picture right here for, uh, what was it, Willows, is this area right in here. So I believe this is Willows. stay on course and fly over Sacramento National Wildlife Refuge. It is a protected area that covers over 10,000 acres of wetlands, grasslands, and forests. The refuge is home to a diverse array of wildlife species, including migratory birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. It is an important breeding ground and stopover point for a variety of bird species, making it a popular destination for bird watchers and nature enthusiasts. There are also guided tours and educational programs available for visitors who want to learn more about the wildlife and ecosystems of the refuge. I believe this picture is right below us, right in through here. Prepare to land at Williams Airport. It is a privately owned airport with a single runway primarily used for general aviation purposes. The airport is situated in a convenient location with easy access to nearby attractions such as the Sacramento River and the Calusa National Wildlife Refuge. It is also a popular destination for pilots who enjoy flying in the beautiful Northern California region.
Well, I think it is about time to go inside the cabin and uh, start to figuring out where this airport is. We are about six miles out. I think it's right back over in this area. So I am going to go ahead and take control, start backing off on the throttle. Uh, let's go ahead, turn this off, this off, and that off, and start uh, kind of swinging over this way, I believe. So let's see if we can find this airport. It's a little tricky, actually. The airport is only about a hundred foot elevation, so we've got to come down a little ways. And I think I see it over there. So I hope that's it. And let's get another flap. Uh, pretty much right straight dead ahead uh, it's right there oh let's see if we can get lined up on it and uh, land I think I looked it up it's only about 2,500 foot uh, runway, which is more than enough for this aircraft. We've been kind of gotten spoiled with all the uh, airports we've been flying into. This one's a little, uh, little smaller, rustic uh, type of airport. came up a little quicker than what I thought. Let's see if we can slow this thing down. A little rough landing. Not too bad, though. Real small, narrow airport. Uh, I think we can just kind of pull in over here. We're not going to pull in on the grass. We're just going to pull in right over here. And we're going to stop right here there we go leg completed took us about 34 minutes uh, as far as the flight time goes so that was uh, leg number two uh, Reading to Williams and so uh, next time we'll be on leg number three and we're starting to get uh, through this I think there was a total of 15 legs in this whole trip and this is our ninth leg, I believe. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so we're getting there. Well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Ring that bell. It'll let you know when I am uh, uploading new videos. And I am uploading new videos all the time. And uh, so, yeah, uh, all you sim pilots out there, Keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.